So One of the main points of concern for Republicans was a so-called potentials list. This is for bills or nominations in which all the necessary documentation is not complete in time for the submission deadline, but will be before session is convened. Republicans say the rules are the rules and object to the idea of a potentials list. Senator Tello Tidegui. And I'd really rather not go down this, this hole here, you know, putting us in a predicament. Uh, we all mentioned that potentials should not happen. It's not fair to not just us, but most especially to the public, putting potentials on. So I, I strongly uh, object to this. The case in point at this meeting was airport board member Don Weekly's renomination. It was ready but not posted to the website, so not available for public scrutiny. And, and like I said earlier, he's, he's my uncle, you know, and, and I have to object and st stick by the rules. We, we expect the public to follow the law and the rules, but this body needs to do the same and show by example. But Speaker Therese Terlahi defended the practice, saying it's just to help ensure that they can provide public notice of all the work the legislature intends to get done. This is to create a potential list to give notice to the public of what we're going to deal with in session, so that our session agenda is complete with every item that we might talk about. But Senator Joanne Brown and Republicans will continue to disagree. We continue and will continue to object to this intention of putting potential bills, potential nominations on the agenda. There's no reason with all the money and resources provided to this legislature and staffing capacity, these things cannot get in time for, for a scheduled session at a rules meeting. Otherwise, Mr. Chairman, I don't know why we have rules meetings. The Rules Committee approved about a dozen bills and nominations for the next session, and a public notice will be published. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News. Motion passes.